nature and wildlife are going to become more and more important. Longshore is, is, is special really. Owned by the people for the people. Planting trees and then seeing them ten years later when, when they've grown. Biggest satisfaction really um, out, out of the job is just looking after the place. Ranger for the National Trust in the Peak District National Park uh, and I work here at the Longshore Estate. The inspiration really for, for, for the job, um, it was more by accident than by design. Uh, I was unemployed for a bit and I, I ended up on a, on a scheme for unemployed people working out in the countryside um, for the National Trust and slowly I've just worked my way up through the, through the job, um, learning things as I went along really and I love every minute of it. <laughs> Longshore, it's not, it's not a huge place, it's about 1,600 acres, um, half of which is woodland, seven or 800 acres of woodland, um, of all sorts of types really, more recent plantations and, and, and older woodlands like Padley Gorge, um, which is oak, birch, sort of upland woodland, really nice for birds, uh, mosses and lichens and things like that. Um, it's quite a heavy, heavily visited place, we're really quite close to the edge of Sheffield, so we probably get about half a million visitors a year so it, it, it has quite a lot of um, impact on, on the site really. There's quite a few special things in terms of wildlife to Longshore. Um, we have lots of wood ants, the northern hairy wood ant. Um, that's quite an interesting um, little creature. Um, quite insignificant when you look at it but um, where we are in the country this is probably about as far south as it comes so if we, if we have climate change or um, the weather changes a lot, it, it, it might move further north and, and it might disappear. We have migrant birds, the pied flycatcher that lives um, in the oak woodlands. Um, that comes all the way from Africa each year, around about mid-April. Um, nests in the, in, the, in the woods and, and catches flies and insects and raises its young. That's uh, another declining species really. I don't think the problem is it is in our country, it's probably over in Africa and its migration route. There's moorland birds, curlews, snipe, um, that nest on the moorland edge. There's a wild population of, of red deer on the eastern moors and quite often um, you can see those at Longshore. Especially in the winter time they tend to come off the tops and, and, and go into some of the woodland plantations and shelter there over the winter um, and eat the bramble leaves that, uh, that, that stay on. It's important to remember that the place can change, you know, if it's not looked after, um, it will alter. Um, and it will alter anyway. Um, the woodlands change, um, farming practices might change. Um, and really we can we can have the countryside we want. Um, um, it can be more nature conservation based, we can have more, more birds and more flowers and maybe maybe less sheep and, 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 and less cows, but ultimately it depends what, what people want and what they want to pay for. Um, at the moment, we're doing a lot of lot of work on the estate. A lot of which is is funded by the government, and um, taxpayers are paying for it. And it's all based on nature conservation. People can come out and and, and, and see that, see the wildflowers, see the birds, and, and enjoy the place. But if that money isn't put into it, those things might disappear. Mm -hmm.